in this video tutorial I am going to design this connecting rod bottom and uh, in the tips as you see first we are going to design this slot extrude it then we are going to add this circle then remove a uh, half circle then add fillet and then add the counterboard by using the hollow wizard okay let's start it First, I'm going to click the sketch and start the sketching on the top plane. And first, you must make sure that your selected units are in inches. IPS inch pound second. So I am going to select slot and select the center point slot. Just make sure your line is straight. And when you make your line straight, uh, you can see a uh, yellow box and in that there is a horizontal line that's that's just telling us that this line is horizontal and then drag it and keep it here then click ok to distract this slot command now i'm going to add the dimensions for it so this dimension is given as 0.75 and i'm going to select this center line or i can also give the length by selecting this line and this dimension is given as 2.3 now it's fully defined you can see it in the status bar click ok exit this sketch and go to feature and extrude it and this extrusion is 0.375 direction blind 0.375 keep other things as it Now I am going to add my second feature sketch and for this sketch I am going to select this this front face or I can also select the front plane from here I have two choices but I will prefer to select this surface click go view orientation and click normal view you can also do that by pressing the space it's a keyboard shortcut then select the circle tool and make sure you draw your circle by selecting this origin as your first point I'm going to select this point has my center of the circle drag the center and keep it here and click OK to deselect this command then I am going to select the line tool either I can select the line tool and draw a line here but I will prefer to select the convert indentities what the convert indentities will do it will convert a existing edge or a point or a shape into the available sketch so I selected this edge I wanted this edge appear in the sketch so intent is to convert i selected this sketch and chain and enter loops one by one just leave it leave them as it is click ok now as you see a black line will appear here on that edge because we converted that edge into indentities and now it's become a horizontal line then go to trim indentities what this trim indentities will do it will remove a portion of the sketch we will, which we wanted to remove it and under the types of trim I am going to select trim to close it and then go here and select this portion the the this half of the portion which we don't want it in our sketch click on it it will trimmed and then I also don't want it this line this portion when you enlarge that you will see there is a black line this is the whole line but we don't want it this portion when we click on this portion the line from this point to this point will be trimmed and again same way I am going to trim this side portion from this point to this point <coughs> sorry and click OK and then go to the sketch tool and dimension this sketch this dimension is given as 
0.875 radius the r is telling us this dimension is given by radius you can rotate it by pressing the middle mouse button i'm going to go to isometric exit the sketch and make sure this sketch is selected and then go to extrude feature and as you know our extrusion is in that direction you can rotate that and observe that we want it in the other direction just select that and this extrusion is also 0.75 and make sure your merge result is uh, selected because it will make these two features uh, one body click ok we are all set then go sketch and select this front face for our plane of this sketch and click normal and then select the circle and make sure the center is on that origin and dimension this circle this dimension is given as one diameter and exit the sketch and select the extrude cut and make this cut through all good isometric view and then I am going to click hollow wizard because we want to add a counter bore so go here and select the counter bore see it is bending head screw under the type I am going to select 1 over 4 you can see in the drawing the counter bore for 1 over 4 binding head screw under the type we select uh, binding head screw and size 1 over 4 and condition make it through and then go to position and select this face and click the space bar and make it normal so we wanted to center this uh, mm, counter bore with the reference of this R so I am going to move my pencil this little pencil on to that edge edge of arc and it will show me the center of that arc so I am going to select this point to add my counter bore here and again move your pencil to that edge and again select this center point make sure the coincident relation will appear just rotate it to observe that the preview and click ok now the counter board is added but before adding the counter board we we needed to make the fillets but uh, we are going to make the fillet after the counter board but if you want to make the fillet before the counter board you can also hide this counter board by by moving your mouse to that line and a hand will appear when you click your left mouse button and drag it you can hide some features i'm going to click here and then add fillet the fillet radius is given as 0.125 and items to fillet i wanted to fillet this edge and this edge and click ok now fillet is added and go to that line and when the hand will appear click your left mouse button and drag it here we are all good isometric go to material add material and select plain carbon steel and this will appear so this part is done